Hey everyone, Aaron here from Beaches RVs. I'm standing inside the beautiful 2012 Crusader Cross Country, which is a full off-road caravan. It's a front door caravan, so it means you walk in onto the kitchen, into the shower and bathroom, rather than onto the, the bedding area. Really desirable layout with huge fridge, massive lounge here, so an L-shaped lounge, which you can drop down into a bed if need be. As you enter the van, you've got your kitchen to the left, so big stainless steel sink there, hot and cold water, plenty of cupboard space, there's even a pull-out pantry in the corner there. You've got over here the laminex lid which covers the cooktop. So it's a three gas burner plus one electric, which means you can use someone else's power when you're on a campsite. And then of course the grill underneath. Let's have a squeeze at the shower and toilets. As you can see here, a beautifully concealed unit. It's got the curtain there to separate the loo. So in the shower time, you, you're basically not wetting that toilet as you shower. And then a nice big drain hole there. So especially ideal for unlevel ground, which is what you tend to come across when you're off-road. Let's check out the back of the van. So as you can see, it's got an island bed here, which means that it's easy to walk around. You can walk right around the bed there, and it's very, very simple to make. You've got wardrobes on either side of the bed, plus overhead cupboards. And then, of course, a rear window as well, which is double glazed. All the windows in the caravan are double glazed with fly screens and privacy screens. Above the bed, there's a Four Seasons hatch. So you open that up and get your ventilation right through the van. There's also a Four Seasons hatch at the front. And of course, LED downlights and speakers. I'm just gonna zoom in on these two appliances here. So there's an 800 watt microwave. There's also a three-way Dometic fridge, which runs on 12 volt when driving, 240 volt when at a campsite, and uh, gas when you're at a national park without power. As you can see here, very, very large, two-door separate freezer to the fridge. And then there's the power commands there. On the ceiling, you'll see at the front of the van, there's a pressure vent. So you actually leave that open when you're traveling to prevent any dust from entering the van. There's the Four Seasons hatch at the front. We've got plenty of downlights. The uh, 240 volt Dometic aircon, which is in the middle of the van. Plenty of ventilation gets distributed throughout the caravan. Lots of speakers. And then I'll tour you around here to the wine guard aerial. So simply wind that up for TV reception. And then back to our Four Seasons hatch, which was uh, above the bed there.